a thousand kilometers from the west coast of Ecuador, the Galapagos Islands are home to some of the world's most unusual and rarest animals. The world's only sea-going lizard species, the marine iguana. Despite being described as the most disgusting, clumsy lizards by Charles Darwin, marine iguanas are actually magnificent creatures that have distinct size and color variations among different islands. There are 11 marine iguana subspecies scattered across the Galapagos Islands. The largest are from Isabella and Fernandina and can grow to over 2 meters long. The smallest are found on Genovesa and are measured less than a meter, about the size of a human baby. Male iguanas become more brightly colored during the breeding seasons. Near Espanola and Floriana, they are more colorful, they are bright green and red. And on Santiago, they are mostly black with patches of red. Regardless of their size and coloration, iguanas will launch their venture to the ocean with low tides exposed to nearshore reefs. Once in water, they are capable of holding their breath for up to an hour as they dive to depths of nearly 20 meters as they forage for algae. This incredible skill can pose a great thermal challenge for the foraging iguanas. The longer they stay in the cold water, the lower their body temperatures will get. The large males are the slowest to cool in the cold waters. With their long flattened tails and strong claws, male iguanas are able to wade through the waves and feast on deep sea algae. Females tend to have shorter dorsal spikes and smaller body sizes. They try to stay dry and warm by mainly feeding on exposed tidal reefs and rarely stay long in the ocean. Iguanas need to return to shore and warm up before they become too cold to move. And the key of warming up after a long dive is to form a piling group. During the day, when the sun comes out, marine iguanas will elevate their bodies and expose their chest to the sun as a way to quickly warm up. Besides heat gain from solar radiation, they can also heat up by fattening themselves against the underlying warm rocks. If they get too hot, they'll simply seek shade under the mangroves or climb under a rocky crevice. And at night, when the sun goes down, marine iguanas will pile on top of each other to reduce their rate of cooling by keeping their body temperatures at night above the ambient temperature, they can sustain the heat needed to digest algae. This behavior helps boost their metabolism and sharpens their senses against a major predator, the Galapagos hawks. Females during the breeding season make easy prey for the hawks. As they wander on the beach to dig nests, Galapagos hawks attack females, pushing them against the hot sand until they overheat and gone limp. But vicious predators are not the only concern. Every 3 to 11 years, an extreme weather condition, termed El Nino, will warm the ocean surface and kill iguana's main food source, intertidal algae. Within digestible diatoms, instead of algae growing under intertidal rocks, 
the starving iguanas evolved the strangest adaptation among the vertebrate family, skeleton shrinkage. By shrinking, they can absorb up to 20% of their own skeleton and survive until the cold water returns with algae. This strategy is the key of making marine iguanas one of the most resilient animals on the Galapagos Islands. But there's only so much an adaptation can do. With current rays of climate warming, the world will likely cross the 1.5 degree threshold between 2030 and 2052, resulting in more frequent and extreme El Nino. The mortality rate of a marine iguana population can increase to up to 90% in these warm water events. At that point, they just simply cannot shrink enough to survive. Marine iguanas are classified as vulnerable by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. As introduced predators, such as dogs, cats, and rats, prey on both adults and young iguanas. By removing those invasive species from the islands, we can give marine iguanas a chance to survive climate change and keep thriving on these volcanic islands.